Hey guys, this is Solar Gray, the Cinematic Sorcerer, and forgive the video quality, I'm doing this really quickly. Um, the net neutrality vote passed maybe 15, 20 minutes ago. Okay, I'm gonna say this. Don't panic, alright? Just relax. Here, um, oh boy. <clears throat> like I said, just getting up in the morning, didn't write a script for this, this is very free form. Now, disclaimers out of the way. Yeah, the rules to repeal, um, or the rules that enforce net neutrality are gone. Okay, that's the way it is. At the moment, the net is still technically neutral because no one's actually taken anything up. Not to mention the rules that were in place from the last administration, they've just voted to take them down. They're still there. It's going to have to go through the rest of the representative process. So, you know, um congress and all that stuff it's not a law you know for those of you guys that grew up in the 80s with me and most of my co-hosts be it the henchman or captain steve or dw there used to be little cartoons that said you know this is a bill it's waiting on capitol hill youtube it i'll see if i can find a link before i put this thing up but anyhow it's not all lost okay net neutrality is still a thing and remember our representation, Congress, all those guys, they still work for us so they can do some stuff. All right. I know, I know it seems like it's a disheartening thing, but relax. Look at it for what it is. All right. It was a decision made by an appointed council. This is what the powers of the president are, guys. He hires the people that come up with these ideas. That is the president, or he or she. Sorry, but yeah, he for now. Um, that's what he does. So if you guys thought that they were going to vote a different way, honestly, I'm not going to I'm not going to insult anybody. I'm just saying all the numbers added up to that. All right. This has been a long time spell coming, but it's not too late. Your power is to be able to call up your congressional representation and your senatorial representation and say, if you vote in favor of of this thing be it dog walking um laws or stuff on on you know if, if you want to make a law making it illegal for people to shoot toasters out of slingshots you know it's your job to call up your congressman and say if you pass the bill that doesn't let me shoot toasters out of slingshots into public pools you lose my vote and you're fired and we as a collective culture have the ability to do that that's actually how democracy works in the republic that we live in okay guys so relax i know this just happened i was a little shook up but anger is easy okay so we have that anger that's what we're doing you know i, I am definitely like i'm over the moon angry about it and i saw it coming however what we do from this point has got to be organized and wise so call up your representative use the system um what was it a couple of days ago we saw how it worked okay the voters turned out in alabama and they fired the dude that said that america was great in the 40s the 1840s and he's no longer he's he doesn't have that job anymore so that is the power you have the people that make this into the law of the land have to listen to you okay so get on the phone with them send them letters i know it's the 21st century but trust me pen and paper still hold weight if you don't believe it ask yourself why you're so nervous at that certain time of the month when you walk to the mailbox and you know that bill is there that bill is on paper there's a reason for that all right so write letters send emails blow up blow up you know petitions and stuff like that if you guys don't don't if you guys are really passionate about keeping the net neutral because you're afraid of crony capitalism this is how to fight okay um i on the other hand i've got a couple of letters to write because i'm i'm in the process of doing that um let's see here what else oh yeah i i might have said this at the beginning it's been a long morning i still have my cup of coffee for coffee and conversation a little bit later but don't panic okay take action learn what you can do 
the internet is the sum total of all accumulated human knowledge from the beginning of well not from the beginning of civilization but from the moment we learn to write and catalog things down it's all there on the internet so you can find the way to really fight this not by trolling not by rioting not by starting fires and stuff like that that's not the part we're at right now right now we are at the writing letter stage and using the rules of legislation the way that they were meant to be used there's an old saying in politics decisions are made by those who show up so show up make your voice heard okay do it in the form of letters do it at the voting box and you know i make a living from the internet so this thing the whole net neutrality thing it could kick me in the teeth it could make it so that the only employment i can get is target so this affects me personally and i'm telling you don't panic okay from old man or not old man but yeah i'm an exer i'm middle-aged and i'm letting you know i get the passion i get everything that you're feeling the lack of hope the anger the well what's the point they're not gonna fucking listen to me anyway i was in my 20s and 30s once too and i'm letting you know that the reason crap fell apart during my generation was because old people did what i'm telling you to do they wrote letters they voted regularly okay and the people who do that are the ones who actually make the decisions for the rest of us so you can be part of the people that make the decisions or you can live with it that's your call okay but if you want things to be different this is how to do it and not just one of you guys out there not just me it's going to take a stampede of letters and emails and phone calls saying give us back our net neutrality protections or you're fired it's that simple it's really that simple and for those of you guys that are just saying well it's great for business and competition and all that stuff you're entitled to whatever opinion that you want okay that's the freedom of the first amendment that's the beauty of the united states as it stands on paper i'm just asking you to really think your passionate opinion through and ask how would this affect my child in the future that's all i'm asking okay so with that um i gotta get back to work editing and preparing for the new recording of the shows um you know subscribe if you guys actually want to hear me talk about oh i don't know fun things like games and comic books but this is an important thing and i felt that i had to get it out there to you guys so with that um i will see you guys on the dark side of the room and in case people think that your circumstances of birth be it your economic situation the color of your skin or the culture and creed that you were brought up in are reasons to keep you from enjoying your life having fun and making your hobbies the things that you enjoy as long as you don't hurt anybody or kill any kids you just tell them to take whatever card the economic card the race card and put that crap back in the deck this is solar gray your cinematic sorcerer signing out all right hey guys thanks a lot for hanging out with us and feel free to get a hold of us at back in the deck at gmail.com you can send us an email there or hit us up on the twitter at back in the deck check out our instagram at back in the deck we have a lot of behind the scenes stuff there and you can join us on the deckers on the book um, public group on facebook where a lot of the deckers get together we talk about stuff and feel free to interact with us most of the people that you see on camera will be in those rooms at one point or another anyway guys thank you guys for tuning in and remember when people give you crap for what you like tell them to take those cards and put them back in the deck